Okay, hello boys and girls. I want to go over a few more things on Google Slides. So uh, from your Google Drive, uh, we know that you're going to pick New. And go down to the yellow is Google Slides and click that. And that will open up a new tab with uh, Google Slides. And once it loads up, you're going to notice that you have your themes on the right, which you can pick. And I'm just going to pick one. We, we've I think we've all done this before, so I'm not going to spend much time, but I'm going to pick just this one here. And then I'll add a couple of blank slides to get ready for my presentation I'm going to put in here. And of course, you know how to title and put a byline in. And then here, we're going to talk about um, a few things. First of all, some of you have wanted to change this layout. Maybe you didn't want the text box layout like this. Maybe it just bothered you that it was there. Uh, keep in mind, these will not show up when I hit present. When I present this, you won't see that. And if I do it right now, you'll see. All I see is a blank white screen. So you don't have to be too concerned about it. But if it really does bother you, um, then you, you um, can change the layout. And the way you're going to do that is you're going to go into Format. Uh, no, you're not going to go into Format. Hold on. Uh, slide, yes, and Apply a Layout. And if you want blank, you can go right here and pick blank. And then you won't have any of those text boxes there that will just look like this if, uh, if you like that way better. Uh, if you decide you want to put a text box back in, you're going to hit text box here. Click and drag. Uh, wherever you want it, and then you can insert uh, typing in there. And I'm going to undo that, which is also right here. If you haven't uh, noticed that, undo will undo your previous step. And now something I want to talk about is uh, I think everyone has done pictures, inserting uh, finding pictures to put in there, and that's fine. I'll go over that real quick. Hit image, search the web, and then type in what it is you're looking for. Uh, find a picture. You can click it and drag it or click it and hit insert. Either way will work. And there is your uh, slide. Now, when you do this, because I have a blank slide here, you might not want a white background here. So the way that you're going to do that is, oops, if you, uh, if you uh, change background, uh, what I did was I right click, right click out here on the slide, then change background. And now I can pick whatever color I would like or an image. I don't recommend doing an image because it will stretch the images out. So I'm going to pick um, pick red background. See how that looks? And there you go. Um, so it just applies it to that. It kind of gives it a little bit of a border around it. The, the problem with using, using a picture is uh, when I click this, see how the tags go around here? The proper way to size this is in the corner like this. It will keep proportions proper. If you do it this way, you're going to notice what happens is you squish the picture. It looks very funny. So um, always size it from the corners, and then you won't ever have that problem. It will keep it proportional to the width and the height. So that's how you do that. Now let's get on to the other thing that I know everybody wants to uh, do. Some of you have done it already, figured it out all by yourself. Um, if I have a video... Uh, on YouTube. Let's just say that I have a video. Uh, let's say I, I will go to uh, I'll go to my site here and get one of my uh, Rubik's cubes. Uh, yeah, your Rubik's cube video. So there, there I am, <laughs> and um, I'll go and pick part one. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pause this so it doesn't start playing. Right up here in the URL, I'm going to click it, and and I'm going to Okay, you can either right-click it, uh, let's see, click it first, right-click it and say copy, or the shortcut is control and C. But this is probably an easier way for you guys to do it. So just click copy. What that is a copy to the clipboard that URL. Then I'm going to go back into my presentation, and I'm going to say insert. And I'm going to go down here to where it says video. Okay, now you can, like in uh, Google um, images, you can search right here if you know what you're looking for. Or what I'm doing is buy URL. So I'm going to click buy URL. And right here now, again, I'm going to right click and now I'm going to, oops, right click and I'm going to paste. Now again, you can hit control V if you're uh, comfortable with those shortcuts. That's another way of doing it. I'll click paste. And there's my URL right there. And there's my, um, my uh, 
video that came up there. And I'm going to go ahead and hit select here. And now it's going to embed the video, you can move it around here, uh, into my uh, slide. Okay, so when I have it in present mode, I can uh, go ahead and run it. And it'll play just like uh, normal. So that's kind of cool, and it's something I know a lot of people have been asking about. And again, I can change the background color if I want to. i got to click out here. Um, i got to click... There it goes. I gotta click away from those text boxes. And so I could change the background color to something else here. <clears throat> something like that. And then there you go. And then move this. And remember, those t these, these will not show up. When I present, I won't see that much. This is what I'm gonna see. Okay? And then I'm gonna click play to uh, run it, which I'm not gonna do right now. But you guys can do that. So um, there's that. And then let's see, is there anything else that I wanted you guys to work with? Um, those are the main uh, things. Oh, oh, there is one more thing, transitions. So a lot of people want to transition their slides. And um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go into, uh, and I'm, I'm, okay, change transition. See it right here? So it's the slide pull down, change transition. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I can just say slide from right. Now I can apply this all my slides if I want the same thing to happen, which I'm going to do, apply to all my slides. And you can make it go slow, medium, or fast. There's, there's different options for different, uh, you know, and then we can play it to say, look at it. So it's going to kind of go like that. I didn't put a title, so that's all you see. Now. Okay. And then we click on the slide to go next, just like we would in the show. Oops. Nope. Okay. Okay, uh, I think I'm just going to do it in present mode. And so here, present. There's that one. There's that one. And so on. This, this, I didn't have anything on there. So, so there you go. So I think uh, that should um, get you kind of started, and we'll spend some more time uh, learning some other cool things. But for now, that's what we're going to stick with.